So let's log into the AWS. I have my AWS accounts. Let's go to the EC2 instance. Let's launch EC2 instance. Click on launch instance. We are creating the one sample Ubuntu EC2 instance. Okay. We'll select a free tire version. Select the next configure option. Then let's add storage, let's add storage 20 GB. Then add tax, no need to add tax conference security group. Select existing security group. Review only launch. Okay. Then click on launch. Select existing key pair. Click on view instance. So to to create the CloudWatch arms, we have created the one sample EC2 instance. So, so instance is running. Okay. So click on the instance you want to create a alarms for the CP utilization. Click on the monitoring. So by default, uh, EC2 shows this monitoring which contain the CPU utilization status check, all these things, these are the monitoring, basic monitoring provided by the AWS for the EC2 instance. Okay. So we can also enable the detailed monitoring okay, by clicking manage detail monitoring and you can click on enable so you will get the detail monitor okay. so to create the clorox alarms click on monitoring so here we are going to create the alert clorox alarms for the cpu utilize okay. click on this, this cpu utilize and click on here three dot okay. here click on view in matrix okay so it will redirect to the CloudWatch dashboard. Okay. Here also you will see the, this is the CloudWatch dashboard for my EC2 instance. Here we don't have the any alarm. Means we have not configured any alarms. Click on OK. Here we will get the in alarm, in separation data, billing. Okay, these are the some CloudWatch dashboard options. Okay. So here, here we don't have the alarms. Click on create alarm. Okay. Then select matrix. Okay. Here in the drop down, here we have the option. Okay, auto scaling, EBS, EC2, ELB. Okay, all these things option. So here for EC2, they have the inbuilt. 703 alarms so here we are going to create for ec2 click on ec2 and select per instance matrix okay. click on per instance matrix go to the ec2 click on details copy the instance id okay then we want to create CloudWatch alarms for this EC2 instance. Okay, paste it here, select, okay. It shows CloudWatch metrics okay, for this specific EC2 instance. So instance for this EC2 instance, the 40 metrics are available. So if we expand this, here we have the metric name, CPU outlast, networking, network out, disk, all this. These are the options to create the matrix or alarm for this EC2 instance. Okay. So depend upon the 
AWS resource types there are alarms or metric names are available okay so let's select the cpu utilization select on this checkbox select click on select the metric then metric name cpu utilization this is my instance of id then select we have the option hours let's set the period for one minute okay then here threshold type select static and whenever cpu utilization greater than or equal to select greater than or equal to here we have the option greater than greater than and equal to lower or equal to lower okay, greater than or equal to let's let, let select for now 50 percent okay. whenever the cpu utilization goes 50 percent or greater than 50 percent we will get the alarms here we have additional confession another one one alarm for in one minute okay then let's leave this default option okay. click on next okay here we have the option option of what alarm we should get so we have the alarm types like in alarm okay or insufficient data these are the category category for the alarms okay so we want uh, whenever the cpu utilization goes 50 percent or more than 50 percent so it should be in alarm state to get the notification we have to create the sns topic so we don't have the existing topic you can select the existing if you have already existing sns topic you can select so let's create a new sns topic click on new topic here give the topic name let's select this instance this is to instance alarm okay and give the your email id okay so that you will get a notification okay. so let's give the email id select click on create topic here we can add multiple notification here we have the option also auto scaling so we don't have auto scaling any issue action we don't so for now okay then we have created the sns topic and we can see the in sns console also here we have the SNS topic is created, name is EC2 instance alarm, topic owner. This is the ARN. Okay, if you have existing, you can copy the ARN. And here it is showing the pending confirmation. Okay. So we have to confirm the email ID. Log into the your email ID. Okay. So here you will get the notification. Okay. AWS notification. We have to subscribe okay so we have to subscribe to the sns okay so click on confirm subscription okay subscription is confirmed go back to the sns click on again topic okay here you will see the status is confirmed okay so our email id is confirmed with the sns topic then let's go to the click on next okay give the alarm name okay. cpu utilization 
simulation. Then click on next. Then click on create alarm. Okay. Successfully created alarms. So it takes some time to stay to be okay. So till then. Let's increase the load on the our EC2 instance. So let's log into the EC2 instance. Copy the public IP. Open the PUT. Select key pair. Let's increase the font. Default username is one two. Let's increase the load okay for testing. So there is a utility space to check the load. Okay. Let's update the system packages using the app command. Let's install the stage package. For testing. Let's increase the load. Command is space V1. So it will increase the load on is it to instance? Increase the load. So load is increasing. is increase okay load is gone more than 50 percent and here you will get the notification okay here you can see that we got a notification okay three notification instances utilizes more than 50 percent like this you will get a alarms 